It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Minnesota Vikings. And it comes your way next. U.S. Bank Stadium holds just under 70,000 spectators, and they've come out in full force for this one. A fantastic atmosphere here in Minneapolis. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Brandon Gunn, so pleased to be joined, as always, by Charles Davis. A CD, these Vikings had things rolling in 2022. A 13-4 record, new head coach, an exciting offense, but it all came crashing down in another early playoff exit. And that really was because of the defensive side of the ball. They had a terrific record. Would they win 11 games by one score or less, an NFL record? Got to get strong on the defensive side in order to get deeper into the playoffs. And meanwhile, for the visiting Chiefs, it's business as usual. They come in as defending Super Bowl champs, and they feature what was the number one scoring offense in the NFL a season ago. The consistency is the key, and it all starts with the head coach and emanates from there. Offensive coordinator has been around the team for a while. They understand how these players operate and what it takes to put them in position to be successful. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So here are the Vikings set to go to work, and they're led by the leading passer in the NFC a season ago. Now in his 12th year, sixth as a Viking, Kirk Cousins. Minnesota's new coaching staff really leaned on Cousins for leadership and production. And the longtime vet was up to the pressure. 29 touchdowns, 4,500 yards, and a 13-win season. His best as a starter. Captain Kirk, he's quietly been one of the league's most productive passers the last few seasons. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds right around. 10 yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing, Cousins. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Draw play, Madison. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here is third and five. Cousins. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up a nice yardage. 11 yards there, just like last play. So, Charles, defensively here, you're going up against a veteran quarterback. He's got a lot of know-how, a ton of savvy, but guy who's not the most mobile of quarterbacks. What's the plan of attack? You spend all week pumping up your defensive front. Your defensive tackles, your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys who go after the quarterback the most because you know that he's not going to run and beat you consistently throughout the game. You can rush more aggressively off the edge and even up the middle because even if he evades you, he's not going to go very far. You have a lot more confidence going after him in the pocket. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Cousins now. And that's going to be incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. On third down, Cousins. And he's taken down. A chief sack. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Karloftis brought his relentless motor from Purdue to Kansas City. Six sacks, a couple fumble recoveries as a rookie. They expect him to continue to expand his game in his second season. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So here come the defending champs, led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, a two-time winner now in Patrick Mahomes. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy, check. MVP award, check. League leader in yards and touchdowns, check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. Now a seventh round surprise from a year ago. It's Isaiah Pacheco. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? To throw, it's Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down up near the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Mahomes to throw on second down. He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 46. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it's second down.
Looking to throw is Mahomes. Again, he finds more. That's Juwan Taylor, the right tackle. Still second down. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now Mahomes. He's got this to the rookie, Rasheed Rice. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Mahomes now to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 27-yard line. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want their buck. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. McCann Blackman's got it. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. It only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And a short pickup to about the 25. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 25, here's second and six. Throwing his Cousins. Open man, he's got him to tight end Hawkinson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Here now, third and a yard. Play fake, Cousins. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. They'll go Madison up the middle. Oh, he sheds himself free. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they top 30. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. George Karloft is the man to bring him down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense. Diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Here's second and seven. Now Cousins. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to get with the quarterback right now, 
offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. score after one on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, and some nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. They'll run it now with Gray. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Noah Gray taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. This has to be great for the psyche of this offense. Presented with bad field position, they didn't let it stop them. They rolled downfield and scored a touchdown. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So this drive spans seven plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Yeah. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage where they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. Cousins throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32. A play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. That was a nicely run slam route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Here's Madison running on first down. And the defense closes quickly there, and he'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Well, give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run, and then execute it. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Off the play fake, Cousins. This one brought in by Jefferson. Only able to gain a couple there. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Cousins from the gun on third. And the Chiefs are going to get him. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. But Charles, this offense just can't seem to get off the ground. But the quarterback, he has to keep picking himself off the ground because this pass rush, they've been on him so far in a big way. Three sacks here in the first half. He might tell his offensive line, quit helping me up and just block the guys in front of you. And here's Ryan right now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Going to look deep here for Pacheco. Oh, and that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Mahomes going to throw. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. The linebacker Jordan Hicks flying in there for the sack. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. To the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Looking to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Marcus Davenport, he's the one to get. 
get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. And the Vikings were really looking for a boost to their pass rush, and they targeted Marcus Davenport in free agency. And right now, after players like that, looks like a win-win for both sides. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. Here's Powell on the return. That'll be a 47-yard punt officially, five on the return. And it will be Vikings ball first and 10. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive, first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. Cousins now going underneath. He's got Hawkinson. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From the 44-yard line, here's second and six. Cousins. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. The Vikings on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. Cousins to throw it. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Tershawn Wharton able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now second and three. Now here's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three to throw it's Mahomes and they'll set up the screen to Pacheco and just shutting him off there and he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45 give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down and this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half so how about the play call there sometimes if you can't protect you've got to fool them screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he stopped immediately there. Marcus Davenport there to take him down. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was. Because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. 
Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here's second and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He's going to look deep down the field. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Flushed out right. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for a big third down play. And he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. First down, here's Cousins. He gets it to Addison. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Complete, Jefferson the target. And Jefferson's gonna have the Vikings first down as he gets this up past the 20. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Cousins now to throw on first down. That's down the field for Jefferson. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. They'll throw again. Cousins. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Now Cousins. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Throwing his Cousins. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. 
The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point is still anybody's game at 7 to nothing. as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one-up one another. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard but it's tough to simulate game speed in practice and that often runs you into a penalty. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open. And it would have been an easy throw. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Mahomes. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. That is caught. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second down and nine. 
From midfield, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 37. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Mahomes now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Viking 17-yard line. A third down conversion with a strong gain of 14. I tell you what, if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes, I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw. But 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases that all I'm saying now is that's a gorgeous play. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Finding Gray on the out route. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we... He finds more in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Minnesota. That was a special return. And it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking on some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to seven. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points.
So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and nine. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him eight on the play, and that is going to set up a third and long. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. They'll try for the first with Pacheco, and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. He needed a yard. That's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing now is Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Now it's Mahomes again. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Dean Lowry in there to get him. It's a loss of five. But that had to feel good for Dean Lowry. Season. Hopes that he's going to have his best year as a pass rusher yet. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking the lead. Thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. 
Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 13. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And they'll come up second and seven. Jefferson going to go in motion right. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. 59 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. They'll get this underneath to Madison. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Cousins now on second down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Osborne. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Meanwhile, Cousins throw pulled in by Jefferson. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. Now a give to Madison, and they'll hold him to three there as he takes this up to the 47. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down. They needed three, he doubled that, he got six. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now a second and two. On the handoff, it's Madison. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. The Vikings on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This time they face a third and two. He completes this into the hands of Jefferson. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 25-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. A first down throw for Cousins. Offense is moving it a little bit, out and back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. 
An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. In motion right is Osborne. On second down, this is Madison. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 83 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. Now they show jet sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Cousins to throw it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Cousins. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Defense. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Trying the power game with Hand. Now he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. C.J. Hand taking it in from a yard out. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Joseph on for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Well, this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And out come the Chiefs now. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Mahomes now on first down. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. This second and four. And it's straight. It's Pacheco. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A good rip by Pacheco. And you have to go back to 1990 with Johnny Johnson with the Cardinals to find a rookie seventh rounder with more rushing yards than he had last season. The 251st pick out of Rutgers took over to KC backfield with 830 yards in 2022. 
They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Now here's Mahomes. Screenplay, McKinnon. They juked him. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. So first and 10 now from the 30. Handoff now for Pacheco. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have any options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver locked up. And if you're thinking field goal from here, it's 48 yards. I think they'd like to get him a little help now on third down and move it closer. Yeah, this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to break our fourth quarter time. Butker's kick here is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Vikings head out to take over once again. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Slant route and he's got Addison. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. Good work after the catch. Gonna net him 23 and a first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. He'll find Osborne here. He'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Here's Madison running left. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Play 
play fake. Cousins. That is caught. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping, and dragging to make sure he gets it done. All three timeouts plus the two minute warning. Here's first and 10. Throwing his cousins. Open man is Osborne. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Heady, heady, heady on that one, huh? Getting out of bounds before the two-minute warning to get an extra timeout, extra opportunity to move the ball downfield. Very smart football. Here comes second down at five. Now Cousins. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Well, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Again, it's Cousins. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Joseph is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. one setting up for a great finish all tied in the fourth as the kicks away and up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25 now the Chiefs offense they get ready to head on the field and after the field goal last time we'll see what they can get here at least they got points out of the last drive Charles I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put out one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Now second and four. Mahomes gets this to Moore, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. But well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. And he will get out of bounds here as well. What a play. Big yardage, they stop the clock, and they move it to the boundary of field goal range as well. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Here's first down. Mahomes. A quick throw there is incomplete. A little more than 
and 40 seconds to play. Now second and 10. Mahomes will throw. Uh, quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane. Yes, that's exactly it's both. what you're doing. It's both <laughs> because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. This is first and ten. Quick throw caught out wide by Valdez Scantling. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. second and short and they brought out the heavy package almost like the super heavy package against that defense didn't it yeah I don't think they expected that much beef up front and it turned into an easy first down conversion the Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is right there. It's good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So there was a little meat on that ball, a little more than a chip shot considering the circumstances, but he's able to bang it home in what should be the game winner. And the key was getting him into a good position to kick from. I mean, if that's a 52-yarder, you're going to have some anxious moments, but kickers nowadays, you give them anything under 40, and they're automatic. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here's first and 10. One last shot now for Cousins. Pass complete. It's Hawkinson. Here comes second down. One final shot, they'll look to throw. Completes this to Jefferson. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple lap.